this thing is heavy. There's teeth in here. Sterile empty vial. This VHS tape that says watch me right there. All right, I'm gonna have to make a part two. Um, 2000 likes and I'll get a VHS player connected to my TV right here and I'll record what's on this VHS player. All right, I'm back guys. And now it's time to go through the VHS tape and also this tiny flash drive. So I know I took a while to do this part two video. And the reason that is, is because I digitally transferred this VHS tape to my MacBook. Now the reason I did that is because I really had no idea how to record what's on here from the TV to my camera. Like I don't have like some type of device that I, I don't know, but I tried putting my camera there and recording it. And I mean, whatever's on here is gonna be blurry as is, and it, it just didn't work. So I digitally transferred it. It took a lot longer and it's pretty expensive as well, but Nonetheless, here we are, we have that, um, as well as the flash drive. So I say we just get straight into this. If you did not watch part one, the link will be down in the description below. Go watch that first or else this probably won't make any sense at all. Okay, real quick guys, it's milestone giveaway time. What does that mean? We just reached a massive milestone. We actually hit four, um, 150,000 subscribers, 15,000 Twitter followers, 15,000 Instagram followers, as well as 15 million channel views. Wow. Something about that 15. So I've been really thinking about it and I really wanted to give back to the community for supporting me so much. All right, so I've been thinking and 15 divided by five is three and three divided by 150 is 50. Now, what does that mean? Absolutely fucking nothing. But I decided that I'm gonna give away three $50 gift cards. So I'm gonna pick three people who randomly comment on this video down in the comment section below and that's it. Literally, that's it. Um, just comment down in the comment section below, like the video, and subscribe with your bell on. That's it. Um, I'll be picking people at random. All right, so what's the date today? Hmm. All right, February 29th, because it's a leap year. I'll pick on the leap year date three winners, uh, your gift card of choice, um, $50 anywhere. So, And real quick, thank you so much for allowing me to achieve these milestones. You guys are awesome. Let's get back into the video. All right, so real quick, we're gonna start out with the USB flash drive first. And the reason I say that is because there's so much content inside of this thing. I mean, just take a look. Uh, right off the bat, we have four videos, two pictures, and three web internet locations, which I really don't know if I'm gonna press those. All right, so for the videos, we have one hint, two hint, three hint, four hint. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into order and yeah, one hint, here we go. All right, 36 seconds, um, turn my volume up. Let's turn my volume down. The first thing I want to say is, I'm sorry, headphone users, for what <laughs> you just endured. Um, two. Okay, so there's a window. Someone's clearly looking through the window, through like grass. This is what got me though. It really confused me at first. This key right here. In the mystery box that we just opened, I received the key. I still have it. Like for example, there's a key. I have no idea where it is though. Um, doesn't doesn't really matter right now. But this key clearly opens this door. Okay, so maybe that key is for me to use to get into something. 
and then there's just this, which... I have no words. No words. Alright, two hint. Alright, so it looks like there's a guy drawing. Two minutes and 54 seconds. Wow. Okay. One day, as my little girl was outside playing with some of her friends across the street, the tone of her sweet voice caught my ear. And the words that I heard her saying were just so very precious. Her little face was all aglow. It touched me so much that I could hardly hold back the tears. This is single-handedly the most disturbing video I have ever watched in my life, single-handedly. Um, I've watched through it completely. It's a three minute long video. I only showed a short, wow, good English. I only showed a short segment on this YouTube video for the simple fact that it gets really bad after this and I'm talking gory and I cannot upload it to YouTube. If I was to upload this to my personal channel right here, I have a big chance of getting like immediately terminated. No strikes, nothing, just immediately terminated. The thing is, is if I don't show this, people will yell at me. If I do show this, people will yell at me. So if you really want to watch this, I'm going to put it on Patreon. Now that's the only place that's going to be. That's if you really want to watch it. Other than that, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the video. Um... Let's continue. Three hint. Oh my god. 25 seconds. Looks like some type of substance right there, but could be wrong. Oh, it's moving, right? It's getting bigger, right? Or is that a shadow? I have no idea. I don't think shadows work like that. This um, location is pretty sick, to be honest. Not gonna lie, this is like an urban exploration dream right here. Like, people would love to explore this if it's abandoned. I'm not sure if it's... A Clearly not. Four hint. 30 seconds. It just showed him cleaning this and wow that just sent chills down my entire body on the bright side that's the last video for now until we get to the VHS tape so our two pictures come find me in basement dot png this is the moon 
with a face on it. I honestly have no idea what this is right here. It looks like it could be a bottle, it could be a rocket ship. What do you guys think? Um, as a face right here, it looks like there's a couple of faces. I could be wrong though, or it could be the structure and the texture of the moon. But this this image isn't a new image to us. We've seen this multiple times. Fire melts frozen that JPEG. One one Turner Street. Fire breaks out again at Charlestown, USA. This person wants me to come back to the abandoned mall so bad. Pictures of the mall saying, where is it? Come home. Like multiple pictures, multiple statements for, for weeks now telling me to come back home. Oh. Fire melts frozen that JPEG. What do you guys think all of this means? Like, I'm shooting blanks right now. Um, now it's time for these articles. Line 33, Scare Tactic, and X07-1220. Start with line 33. Let's see. <clears throat> Takes me to an article of the cut. The most disturbing details from the NX IVM cult case. <clears throat> For those who don't know, I suggest looking this up. This was a cult that was about an hour away from me. Um, inside of this cult, there was people who were doing like trafficking on people. And I've received a lot of items pertaining to like this cult in specific. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. But let me read over this a little bit and then I'll recap it with you guys. <clears throat> All right, so I'm back, and I've come to a conclusion. Line 33. If I was to count down 33 lines, the group's inner workings, she also admitted that she ordered others to destroy videotapes that documented Rainier's teachings. So... What that means, not sure. Let's see what the two other links lead to and um, I'll go from there. Scare tactic. Remains of 13 sacrificed virgins unearthed near the Bohemian Grove. Oh my God. Oh my God. This Bohemian Grove location, <clears throat> I could talk about this for hours. I'm just gonna recap it quick. Um, I've talked about it in the past as well, but the Bohemian Grove is basically like a meeting point for like the world's richest and just like very successful businessmen. And yeah, basically it's like an all men's club. Women and children are not allowed. You have to be a man and at least 21 years old to join and you can only join via invitation. So, it, it goes deeper than that, like much, much deeper than that. But yeah. if you really wanna look into it, just look up Bohemian Grove and oh my God. 07-12-20, July 12th, 2020. The cremation of care enhanced footage. The dark sea from dark now secrets we're going inside of some enhanced video. And we'll go play by play through some of the more occultic states. Okay, I know exactly what this is. All right, so I've, I've actually watched this video as well in the past. What this video is, is of the Bohemian Grove. Um, um, a man snuck into this place and tried to video record their um, rituals and sacrifices and so on and so forth. He found some crazy stuff. Now, uh, for copyright reasons, I'm not going to actually play this. But um, if you want the link to this, I'll leave it in the description below. So if you want to check it out. That's so crazy. There's 
so many of them. It's like terrifying when you really think about it. My God. Okay, so that's it for the USB flash drive. I have the digitally transferred VHS tape over. I wanna sincerely apologize for this right now, but in the process of digitally transferring this, uh, we lost the sound from the video, so there's absolutely no sound coming from this. I'll just roll the video and let's see what's on here. I'm gonna watch this full once and then we'll review it and talk about it. I, I, wow, what the, f I'm at like a loss for words right now as for this entire video. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <clears throat> All right, we start off with this family right here. So, so, so this video starts off by like this family right here. And um, there's a lot going on in the middle section right here, the table, but I can't really see what that is then we have this little girl running um on the beach and two girls on the beach she's showing some type of book And it stops, plays this in reverse. Why is everything in reverse so terrifying? No matter what it is, it's just terrifying. To listen to a SpongeBob theme song in reverse, it's terrifying. Um, here we have a burning cross. I, I don't even want to watch this. It bothers me so much. Jenny, Brian mom dad this is from somewhere i know it is I've seen it before and then this of course we have to involve them all we have to involve them all with everything we do i just realized this mall is really close to my house like really close the road that's in front of the mall has been unused for like so long the, the reason the the road isn't used is because there's like potholes the size of like meteor craters. I'm not even joking. Like it is dangerous. And we have this bus casually driving by. Another car just casually driving by. Gate is wide open. And then we have the girl walking in reverse again, but this time in red. The last part though, 
someone going downstairs. Huh. Oh, I just want to know what significance all this has. What do what do those girls have? What what significance does this family have? What <clears throat> I'm I'm just like at a loss right now for everything. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. <sighs> go take a nap. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go take a nap. This two-part video series was absolutely like crazy. Um, like I said, if you guys did not watch part one, the link is down in the description below. Check that out too. Um, let me know if anything connects from this video to the contents inside of the box in the first. <sighs> Yeah. I love you guys. Um, take it easy. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell. Smash that like button. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, and peace. See you guys. Bye.